Hey everyone, um, I want to show you how to log into your online classrooms. The first thing you need to do is to go to our Chalimbana Invest website. For that, you type in uh, chahoo.ac.zm. Once you've done that, you press enter. It should take you to the website for Chalimbana Invest. On the Chalimbana Invest website, you go to the menu, you choose e-learning, and then you select online classes. On the page for online classes, On the page for online classes, you'll find the instructions written from one to six. Please take note. Instruction one says, open the online classroom portal. This is what takes you to the online portal. So click on this. But before we click on that, I want you to take note that you use your student number as a username. So where it says username, on the next page, we're going to see you put your student number. And where it says uh, password, you put this as your password. Notice the capital C. Notice the capital C. That's what you're going to do. So we click on this link to go to the next page. Okay. This is your online classroom platform. Here you're going to enter your student number. Now, I'm going to pick a random student number and use that for a demonstration. I wish I could pick something that anyone knows. So 180413, uh, yeah, I tried the other one, so let me try 297. Uh, okay. Let's try something else, maybe 400. I'm assuming that they are 400. That's your student number there. In your password, you use capital C, H, A, U. You shift to, that's at, then 2020 or 2020. Then you click on signing. I'm assuming that this student exists. Oh. Okay, so finally, I know that this student exists, and uh, that is what is going to give us um, a login. So once you see these um, circles going around, means, oh, okay. Um, I'll quickly show you, when you log in here, the first thing you do, uh, my apologies to that person, but the first thing you do is you look for public rooms or you look for my rooms usually when you log in once or the first time you log in you won't see anything below my rooms but as soon as you start logging in you'll be seeing rooms that you go to on public rooms click there it should give you a list of rooms that are available on our platform and usually it will be by the name of the lecturer that offers a particular course for Mr. Zulu, you have to scroll down all the way up to the bottom. That's where my name should be found. And once you get there, you find Mr. Zulu. E, not Zulu J. Zulu J is for language. Zulu E is for ICT. So you click on that to enter. So click that. It means you are entering now the room where I am. Okay, we wait a bit, it takes a bit of time. Okay. Okay. Um, this you will see come up in Firefox, probably even in other browsers, but this is asking you to allow the camera and the microphone to be shared using Firefox. 
So what you need to do here, if you click on don't, it means we'll not be able to hear you, we'll not be able to see you. If you click allow, then we'll be able to hear you. But there are options here. For camera, you can choose if there are two cameras. For example, you can use the inbuilt camera and you could have a separate camera on the other side. That will give you uh, an option there. And then on the microphone as well, you could have an external microphone or an internal microphone. If you're putting on your uh, headset, you could see an option there. For now, we'll just say allow so that we can go on. This will turn on your camera on your laptop and it will also turn on your microphone so that everyone can hear you. Okay, so as you can see, uh, once you turn on your camera, you will start seeing the image of yourself here. Okay, you can actually expand the view of this by doing that. That gives you a clue of what you can do. Now I'm logged in as this student. Unfortunately, my apologies, I don't know who this student is, but by default, this is how you log in. Now to avoid people like me logging in, you will need to change your password. You will need to change your password. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the room, the room, and to exit the room, you click on exit. And it's taking forever. Okay, so I'm out of the room. I can go home. Or just go to the dashboard. On your dashboard, click on where it says edit your profile. Okay, this is where you change your profile. Some of the details that have been put here have been put in uh, because they this is what they have on you. But you can change certain things here so that what appears is uh, the correct. So, for example, you can change the display name. Instead of putting your student na number, which most people want to know, you better use your, I'm doing this for this student, your first name so that it's easier now to do that it's going to ask you for the current password the current password is capital c h a u chahu at 2020 okay oh it says wrong password no it's correct actually uh once you are done with this you have to click here to save your edit but one of the things that you can also do is to upload the image so when you click there it will allow you to select an image from pictures you can choose any picture for example i can choose that picture or that picture or that picture so for this one because i do not know who the person is i'll put the charimbana invest uh, picture so there you are you can change this picture as well later on but for now we'll put this as the image for the student luckily i have the logo for for for, for me to use so once you're done with that you can click save but before we do that let's change this password because by default everyone has the same password so you need to change your password the current one is capital c h a u at 2020 so you now need to put your new password here here that's where you're going to put your new password so your new password could be anything and i'm going to do something like this i've changed the password for this particular student like that Okay, so then I'll click change. Uh, sorry, it's the same password, so it's still complaining. Uh, I don't have to change that. 
but that's how you change your password. Okay, after that, just click save and everything will be saved for you. Done. So now when I log out, are you sure you want to log out? Say okay. And I log in. I don't remember what was that number again. That was 400. So we'll log in as 400 again. And we are using our new password. Now, this time you log in, you have to use the new password. So I'll click sign in. And that should take you to your dashboard. Okay, there we are. Um, we are here. I'm waiting for the picture to up, to down, to up. Okay, there it is. So there is our picture. So if you had put your, your picture there, it will show as your picture. It's, it's a good thing because we will need to see your picture. Sometimes we may not see your video, but we'll see your picture. Okay, this is where um, I'll end. I hope you've gotten something from this. And those who are having problems, please make sure you try and follow these steps. They will help you. Mm -hmm.